Welcome to AQA Computer Science, and we are going to continue the topic of conditional statements in programming and pseudocodes. We have two types of conditional statements, if then else and case only. If then else is a conditional statement is the conditional statement in which the user has a choice, right? Either it's true or false, yes or no. Do you understand this? Like yeah, understand. You have a choice and you need to pick any of the option. So the option is either true or false and yes or no. So you see here, if then else, state. So right here, I'm going to show you an example. If age is greater than equals to 18, right here, I have given you a condition. What is the condition? The condition is about the age. And the age is equal to or greater than 18. So if the user is going to input the age, so first I need to input age. First we need to declare age. Can you tell me the data type for age? Integer. Yes, 18. Yes. And then integer, yeah. input age. Now, after the input, we have a condition. So you can see if age is greater than or equal to 18, it means that the user's age is an input. So I'm going to declare a variable here. Look, this is my variable. In memory, a variable is up here like a box. In this box, the user have to input age and I'm going to input the age 19. Now, we have a condition, if age is greater than or equal to 18. If it is, then print, you can drive. So see here, what I have input, tell me. You input them, that the I driver is 19. 19. So what do you think, 19 suits on the condition given, print, you can drive? Yes, because yes. my condition is greater than or equal to, so 18 is a smaller and 19 is a greater number as compared. So on our monitor, this statement will be output. You can write. Let's suppose there's a variable age. And in this variable, I'm going to input the age. And I input the age 16. So what do you think? Computer is going to check this condition first. This condition does not work because the age is not equal to 18, either greater than 18. So we have to move to this statement, you can't drive. So on your monitor, this message will be printed. Do you understand it or not? You understand. You understand. Okay, let's do some other examples. Okay, can you read this algorithm objective, please, if you don't mind? Using pseudocodes or otherwise algorithm, write a program to print the largest number among three numbers. Oh, yes. It means, is there any comparison you feel in this objective? Any comparison you think that there is a comparison? Yes. Look, if you have a choice, look, is there any choice? Yes, you yes. have three numbers. How many numbers? Three, three numbers. So in among these three numbers, you have to print the what? The largest number. So the objective is very important. Ismail, if you are not going to read the objective again and again, you are not able to understand the objective. You're not going to understand the logic. So again, write a program to print. So we need to print. Print what? The largest number. Among how many numbers? Three numbers. Three numbers. Okay. 
So the first thing, what is the first thing we have? We always do in our programming. We always what? Declare the variable. Yes, very good answer. How many variables we need to declare? Three. Yes. What What will be the name of variables? It's it totally depends upon you. That either you wanted to write num one, num two, num three, or you said no, sir. I just wanted to write a value one, value two, value three or you wanted to write N1, N2, N3, but the thing is the variable name should be meaningful. The variable name should be meaningful. What do you mean by meaningful? It should be relating to the objective. Exactly. So can I use uh, Ronaldo Massey here? And then any other no. people? Back and back and back and back. I think. You know Beckham? Yeah. He's very old now. Right. So, can I use these names? No. Why? They're not suitable for the exactly. program. Very good answer. So, in this way, we are going to use the variable which are meaningful and related to our algorithm objective. Now, the thing is very clear now. Num1, num2, and num3. Now, the next is what we have to do among them. We need to find largest number. How do we find largest number? What we need to do here? You compare num1. Excellent. Num we need to compare. So for comparison, we use if then else. Right? Yeah. Okay, let's start the board. First, what we have to do, you can see here, First, we need to declare. Declare what? Num1, integer. Num2, integer. And num3, integer. After this, print. It will be printed on the screen. This is a message, what I want. First, enter first number. So after this, you need to input num1. So I told you num1 is a variable. So look, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you a proper explanation right here. Num1. Please don't write anything. I will give you time to write. Num1 is a variable, look. Same. Print enter second number. Input num2. So I'm going to uh, make a variable of num2 here. Num2. And finally, the next value is print enter third number. Input num3. Num three. So all the variables are going to be declared in this way. And you can see there is a box in which we are going to input. So first I'm going to input here num17. In num2, I'm going to input 3. And in num3, I'm going to input 8. Is it OK? Yeah, that's OK. Now, the comparison is going to be started here. You see here, what is the comparison? If num1 is greater than num2, okay, listen to me right carefully. Num1 is seven, and num1 is going to be compared with the num2. Can you tell me the comparison is true or false? It's false. Yes. Num1 is greater than num2, it is false. Seven is greater than three. Yes, you there? Yes. Yeah, can you tell me the comparison again? Be careful. Did not say uh, num2 and num1 though? So num1 is seven, it is greater than num2. Num yes, it is. It is true. Okay, and then again, and num1 is greater than num3. Now this time, num1 is greater than num3, num3 is six. So is it comparison is true or not? Is it's it true? true? So then print num1 is the largest number. Now, the comparison. Again, we are going to input. Again, we're going to input the value like, no, okay, let, let, let me do it on the same values. If num2 is greater than num1, tell me, is num2 is greater than num1? No. No? So we are not going to proceed this comparison because already the first condition is false. So else, else print num3 is the largest. 
So the computer is going to automatically check the number three value. If it is greater than num one, two, num one and num two, then it will be printed as a largest. But right here, six is not the greatest number. So it means which value will be printed on the screen? Three. No, no. Um... Check the number. Which number is greater? Why no, you uh, Num one, seven. Do you want to drink water? No. Okay. Did you take some coffee or tea? Yes. It's morning in your country. Okay. Because this, this topic is very technical. You have to take some breakfast and a cup of a coffee or a tea to make your mind active. Is your mind it is still inactive? Believe me, you won't understand. It's a waste of my time. So you have to be, okay, careful. If you wanted to take a cup of tea, go ahead, take a cup of tea. Even I'm, I'm taking a cup of tea. Okay, so which number is the largest? Tell me. Num one. Num one is the largest. So look, what, what is here? I write an if twice a time. Why? Look, this is for this if, the last one, this one. And this if is ending here, this one. So that's the reason I write two times if. And if. Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. Any confusion? No. Okay, I'm giving you time to write down all these stuff first. Once you're done with this stuff, let me know. I will move you to the next page, okay? Okay. okay. Take your time. No rush. Read the chat. Objective is using pseudocodes or otherwise algorithm, write a program to input a number which is positive. So right here, the algorithm is about a number which is positive. It means that first we need to declare what? A variable. And what we have to do, we need to input a number. So it's clearly written, input a number. So the variable should be number. Just one number. Yes, just number. Just num. Num, 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 okay, fine, num or number, okay. Now what we have to do, we need to input a value. So look, I have input a value, negative five. What do you think, negative five is a positive number? No. No. So which number we are looking for? We are looking for a number which is positive. So do you know about a number line? In primary level, you study this topic, number line. In the number line, you have a number zero and on your right hand side, the numbers are positive. On your left hand side, the numbers are negative. Did you get it? You so got it. Yes. So for this objective, we need to write an algorithm. Do you want to try for it? Yeah, I'll try. You, you just need to try. That's fine if you are going to do any mistake. It's totally fine. So just try, a good try. No worries. Okay, I need to just quickly tell you the answer in recording. Okay, in algorithm number six, the answer is right here. Declare number, integer, input number. If number is greater than zero, it means it is positive, then print positive. Else, you need to print negative. And then we have to write and. So this is the answer of our algorithm. Then we are going to do an objective here. In this objective, we have three things, height, weight and age. So this is about a ride. You see in amusement parks, we have a rides and in that rides, there are some conditions. What is the condition here? Can you read it for me? If your height is greater than one and your weight is greater than 20 and your age is less than 70. Oh yes. And? The age is greater than five. So what then you, you can write. Is that is that a precaution that a person's height is greater than one? A person's weight is greater than 20. So what does it mean if somebody weight is lesser than 20? So they cannot write. Exactly. It means a person is not up to the mark and he's not uh, a, a good weight. 
So it means the right is dangerous. So the right is dangerous. So that's the reason the right have some conditions. One more thing, H. H is lesser than 70. What does it mean? Lesser than 70 and greater than five. Is this, is this right is for kids? No. Oh, how could you say that? If somebody's age is eight years, what do you think? Eight years is not a kid age? No, age is correct. Yes. So it means that the age greater than five and the age lesser than seven. It means not too young and not too old. So this is a condition. So if you are not under this condition, output you can write. Else, output, you're too small as a height, you're too young as an age, and you're too old again as an age. Is it okay? Yeah, that's okay. So you, what you have to do, you need to write this algorithm in your notebook with proper declaration, proper input, and then you have to write down this comparison. Is that okay? Yeah. I want declaration, I want input, and then I want this thing. Okay, we have done this already, algorithm number six. Let me check if we got any other algorithm. Okay. So we have Okay, that's done. It's done now. So, do you understand the topic or not? Is there any problem? Is still any problem? Hello? Can you no, hear me? No, there's no problem. I understand the topic. You understand the topic? Yes. Okay. Do you have any worksheet, any topic assessment, any anything from your school? given to that topic? I have revision materials. Sorry? I have re revision materials. Yes. Do you have any material that your, your school give to you regarding this topic? Um, yes, a bit. You have? Yeah. Please share it. Do you have it in oh. PDF or something? No, it's, it's a paper, some paper, a booklet. Oh, do you, it's a booklet. So how could you share with me? How can you share it with me? Is there any method? Is there any way like you scan it and send it to me? I can take uh, pictures, send the Gmail. Yeah, 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 do it quick, quick. Can I do after lesson because I have no phone? Okay, okay. We can do it after a lesson. Okay, let me check you, check some questions for you. So I wanted to give you some questions. Oh, I got a question. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Got a question for you. Okay, did you see the question number four here? Can you read yes. this question, please? Write a short pseudo code algorithm to import a password. Okay, hold Check on. That. What do you have to do? I have to you write have a short pseudo code algorithm. Password. Hmm. First thing. Next. Check that it has exactly eight characters in it. Okay. So what we have to do here? We, we need, need eight characters. Up. Yes, eight characters. So validation check is there. Do you know the validation rules? Um, let, yes. let me remind you. Let me remind you. I teach you this topic. Validation types. Yes. Number one, length check. Do you remember? It will check mm. characters length. Yes. Next. Type check. Yes. Presence check. Yes. Range check. Yes, check digit. Are you getting it? So yeah. these are the types of validation check. Length check, type check, presence check, range check, check digit. So you have to recall all of these, okay? Then mm. please read. 
check all the letters are uppercase. What is uppercase? Your capital letters. Yes. And then what do you have to do? Read. Input the uh, output the message. Yes. And then make sure the password meet the rules. rules. Next, if both these conditions are true. true. So do you want to try this algorithm? Okay, our class time is nearly up. I'm sending you the new link, okay? Okay. Okay. So you have to do this, okay? Do it right now. Yeah. I just send you the new link, okay? Okay. Done. Once the class is over, you need to click the new link, okay? Then you, until you have to start your work. 